Just woke up. I was not about to do this last night because I was so tired. I was working really hard and I was like, man, I'm just gonna crash. Everybody's favorite part of the day, putting on some freaking duvet covers. I don't even know if these are called duvet covers, but I feel like these are. Anyway, if y'all have some duvets, you know about the duvet covers. I found the special way, it just makes it so much easier. All you gotta do is do this. Boom! Oh my god! Man, just like that, it works every single time. Y'all should really try this out. Pardon the hair a bit, you know, I just woke up, so it's looking a little crazy. It looks like the freaking hill that the Teletubbies would creep over when the sun would come out, but hey, that's just the way it is until I shower, but I wanted to say that I was going through the comments in the last video, and a lot of you guys listened to the same exact music that your boy was on, so shout out to everybody, man, that left comments. And with that being said, I'm trying to build my Funky Classics playlist. Now, this one's completely different. This one's more of like, if you had a low rider and you wanted to listen to some oldies while you're cruising with the top down hitting those switches what would you listen to i wish i could play some samples for you guys so you know exactly what i'm talking about but i'll just show you guys my playlist and you may recognize some songs on there if y'all could recommend anything one song two songs three songs whatever it is funky classics drop that down below and a lot of people ask me what kind of music i've been listening to so you guys could go ahead and check me out on spotify the name is sneakerhead in the bay i'm not sure if you have to add the dash us but if you guys type that up you can see every single single playlist that I have and I have a lot I got R&B I got some island vibes I got some uh, Bay Area music chief in music with the 20 joints so if you guys need anything go ahead and check it out on Spotify but let's peep through this uh, funky classics playlist we got Isley Brothers Midnight Star you see all these like OG classics Michael Jackson okay Earth Wind and Fire oh the spinners Stylistics, Midnight Star. We got a lot of the classics on here. So like I said, if you guys have any recommendations, let me know, man. I'm trying to build every single playlist one step at a time, and I love doing it. I know I could trust you guys. You guys will come through, I already know. But you may be wondering what we're gonna do today. And that's actually a really good question. I didn't really have anything planned exactly for you, but I wanted to pick up the vlog camera, vlog a little bit, and just show my face during these times. It's gonna be a completely random day, which I think are better than the planned days, to be honest with you. I had some people ask, me where the bike content was at and I was like man I wish I could bring it to y'all because I was waiting for certain parts and this happened to be one of them so this is one of the crucial parts in putting on that wheel that one's a different wheel than the one I had previously we we're just waiting for this skewer right here this one is a head skewer so this should fit perfectly with the wheel that we have I think I went with a titanium one or something like that but it took forever to get here I think I ordered this maybe two three weeks ago we got the tubes we got the wheel we might see some bike content in the afternoon and I also pulled the trigger on these Air Jordan ones these are the court purple Air Jordan ones this is a size 5 so court purples came out before but this is just a different version oh hoo, hoo, hoo. these things are so strong a little bit too strong actually you know that Jordan smell just lingers inside the box and this pair it just hits so much harder for some reason but yes the GS court purple Air Jordan ones what do you guys think about this colorway I think I've seen somebody do like a yellow swoosh yellow ankle part but yeah just ended up picking this one up it's just about lunchtime and I'm going to show you guys what we are going to create today since I know everybody's locked down Maybe y'all are interested in learning how to cook, how to make some dip, some new stuff. So, you know what? Let's do it. Today, what we have on the menu is guacamole. Guacamole. And we're just going to make it super simple, super quick. One of my favorite chips and dips. So, let me show y'all how we make it. First things first, we need some avocados. Boom. Just like that, we have our avocados. I think we used about three. So, that's all it is right there. And we need to transfer it to a bowl. So, I'm going to do that real quick. <laughs> Just like that. Let's keep it going. Next up, we have a tomato that needs to be diced. Just like that. I'm not gonna throw this into the bowl yet because it could get a little bit mushy, so we're gonna move this to the side and cut some onions. I love white onions, so I'm gonna add a lot of it, but if you guys aren't a huge fan of white onions, you could add a little bit less. I feel like it's not guacamole if you don't have white onions in there, so we're going in with the white onions. <laughs> White onions are chopped, so we could throw them into our bowl right there. Ah, it's burning. 
I heard if you don't breathe through your nose while you cut onions, it won't it won't burn your eyes. I don't know, it's kind of on off for me. We're gonna add some red onion just for some color. This is how we're looking so far. So we need some acidity all up in this joint. So I had some scrimp the other day and it came with some lime. So we're gonna throw about half a lime into there. So now we're going to add some salt and we're going to use some garlic salt for this. If you don't add salt, it's not going to taste as good. So just do a little sprinkle over the top. Some people might think that this is crazy, but I honestly think that it will make the biggest difference. Now, I love mayo. If you guys don't like mayo, you could substitute it for like sour cream, but it does add an extra edge to this mix right here. So if you guys want to follow this and you like mayo, definitely make sure to do so we're just gonna do one heaping spoon of mayo into this guac don't judge man this is really good and then one of the last steps is we are gonna do a couple hits of tabasco now i'm not usually a fan of this tabasco sauce is a little bit too sour for me but that sourness kind of plays real nice with um, everything that's going on in the guac so it'll complement the lime so we're gonna do a couple dashes of this you could go ahead switch it out for whatever and now we just mash everything together. I'm not going to do anything fancy. We're just using two spoons. We're going to mix it, mash it. And then at the end, we can add our tomatoes and mix those in gently. And you'll have your homemade guacamole. After doing it for a while, you're going to get something that's this consistency right here. As long as you don't have any chunks in there, it should be good to go. And then the final step is just to add the tomatoes. And lastly, I almost forgot, if you guys like spicy, you could go ahead and add like a spicy element to it. So we had some uh, Thai chilies, I believe, and we're not gonna remove the seeds or anything, but we're just gonna lightly cut it, and this will add a uh, heat element. I know a lot of people don't like spicy. I love spicy, so we're doing about five of these in here. But yeah, that's it. That's your uh, famous guacamole dip right here. Y'all can test it out. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys think it needs something more, you could go ahead and add it. Add more salt, add more pepper, add more lime. Tweak it a little bit. Make it the way that you guys want it. Thank you guys for watching Alex's Kitchen. And if you guys want to be real nice with it, you could add the sriracha. Still looking for that sponsorship, guys. <laughs> Look at that, mm, mm, mm. Makes everything so much better. And if you guys wanna be extra nice with it, you could get some salami, switch it up from the chips a little bit, and you just kinda scoop it like this, and boom. Mm. Lunch was all good, and now we're trying to get the tire and tubes on this head three. I'm gonna try to do this all by hand or maybe just craft something but once we get this on i could put the skewer on and hopefully go out for a ride for you guys a few moments later my dad and i got the tire on and it's the wrong way man so now i guess it's time to use my brute strength to get it off so I came to the conclusion of two things. First thing is I need a tube that has like a longer stem. And second thing is putting the tires and the tubes on without the proper tools is a So I'm not gonna waste my time with that today because I have a bunch of orders I gotta knock out. Look at all these keychains. I still have more over here and a lot more orders to finish. And speaking of that, I just dropped some new vinyl sticker decals on the site. So if you guys wanna check it out, shopsotopia.com is where you can find all of them. We just added this custom off-white text. You can put it on anything, make it say anything. And yeah, we have a few other designs on there as well. Thank you guys for supporting. I need to knock these orders out. Bad, like bad, like real bad. It's time to go to work. The next day. I can't believe I abandoned you guys yesterday. I got so swamped with everything. I just wanted to knock everything out. So today we're gonna be continuing the vlog. You guys went absolutely crazy on the site. So I wanna give a huge shout out to everybody that supports, man. All these orders right here are shopsoltopia.com orders, custom keychains, phone cases, air fresheners, you name it. So if you guys wanna support the site and keep me busy, go ahead and check it out after this video, shopsoltopia.com. I'm gonna get all of this bagged up and head over to the post office. 
What's good everyone? We're outside right now. And I know I promised you guys that I would be biking or doing something outside. So today we are out here. Some of y'all asked about it last time. It is the Lower Guadalupe River Trail. This one's super nice. This one's gonna take us all the way to Alviso. So I'm just gonna ride for a little bit, get outside the house, get the blood pumping. And I hope you guys enjoy this little outdoor vlog if some of y'all are caged up inside. So your boy's gonna ride. I got the helmet cam on deck also to get another view. Let's do it, baby. Homies mad cause I'm chillin' with you too much. I'm drinking, got the MX on the Uber. Top five like Ray Allen, cause you know that he a shooter. Baby, I am not afraid to lose ya. Just cause you in my life don't mean I cannot remove ya. Yeah, she only living for the weekend. So nice, I wish that I could just press reset. Yo, it's mad windy out right now. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me. We're traveling against the wind, so. I can't wait to come back this way. We're gonna be speeding super fast. Woo! Yeah. Yo, that's windy. Ooh, look at the pool. Look at the palm trees. Y'all feel the vibe? Eesh. I'm gonna pass these people real quick. You know if you feeling right, you can slide in my foreign ride Baby, hop inside, lately you been on my mind You and I, I got it, get it, do or die It might not work, but we could try Lately I've been cutting ties Girl, pick it up, don't hit the Girl, I could keep you satisfied So let's just keep it, you and I Remember me when I forget ya yeah. They said I changed this just a heads up. I know you play on both sides, girl, you be telling me like Oh yeah, the juices are flowing. Yeah, if you guys are around this area, this is one of the best trails to ride. It's nice and paved, super smooth. You guys see that right there? It's gonna be the new Top Golf out here. Alviso used to have this long range, but they got rid of that. And I think the new Top Golf, that's gonna be lit. Not a lot of people know about this spot. So if you guys are into fishing, you could catch fish out here. Last time I went here, these dudes caught like this huge fish. Got a couple of people rolling up too. Gotta look both ways before crossing. Pick my bike up. Looking both ways. Clear, I'm good to go. We're going down to that area over there. So we're gonna be literally on that little bridge right there. I was thinking just tonight. You know if you feeling right, you can slide in my foreign ride. Baby, hop inside. Lately, you've been on my mind. This is it. Secret bridge right here. It just goes out to the bay right here. Looks like nobody's fishing. Usually, the water rushes out. But it doesn't look like it today. Oh, they're actually fishing over there. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to show it to you guys real quick. So the craziest thing is in Santa Cruz, they started giving out $1,000 fines. Uh, these people that were just hanging outside 7-Eleven, they got a $1,000 fine for being outside, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. Here, we'll go down this way real quick, and then we're gonna dip out of here. Nothing too spectacular, but hey, let me know if this is helping you guys out a little bit during quarantine. I'm out of here. Yo, for a second, can y'all just bug David Got Kicks? Go on his Instagram, DM him, or just leave him a comment just saying, when are you gonna go biking with Alex? Boy is running it solo dolo right now. Roadkill! Ah! No cup, no stop. Super dope house. Oh my God. If you guys follow me on Instagram, this house might look familiar. I feel like George Washington lived in that house right there. Wow. This either used to be like a restaurant or a store. Pretty sure it's a restaurant. Oh yeah, lunch and dinner. Social distancing. Oh, people are still going here. Oh, pothole. You. Oh, this is one of the lit things. They got a taco truck. That's lit. 
Mi Jalisco Market. Right here, they got a mural. Oh! Got another five upset. All in my ear saying I'm up next. But it's one little thing that's keeping me stressed. Like, please tell me how we haven't met yet. Girl, I'm over here just waiting for the best. I don't even really care about the rest. I don't know how we haven't met yet. Oh, you got a real familiar face. Excuse me, but who do I know your name? I'm guilty and I got an open case. To crush it now, you don't wanna complicate. Sorry, I just drank two glasses of Chardonnay. And you know I really gotta be honest, babe. You know I like it, you don't even gotta ask. I heard you're single, damn, I knew it wouldn't last. Like eyes and we stopped time, I've been looking up.